After years and years and years of Microsoft feeling negative fanfare about the cancellation of Scalebound, Platinum Games step up and says, don't blame Microsoft? My, 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 let's get into it. Yo peoples, it's your boy MM2K back again with another one, but before we get too deep into this one, can you do me a huge favor? Can you hit that like button? Can you hit that subscribe button? Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when these doses are coming. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Well, 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 what an interesting piece of news that we have today that's breaking. Apparently, after years and years and years of Microsoft getting beat down, getting beat to the white meat about their cancellation of various games, most particularly Scalebound and Platinum Games not really giving an official an official statement on what's been going on. We done heard murmurs of people not liking the relationship there at Platinum Games, them vowing never to work with Microsoft again, things like that, but never giving an official, an official statement of their stance on what happened. Finally, studio head Atushi Anaba, and I apologize if I butchered that, said that it wasn't easy to watch a publisher, Microsoft, receive the brunt of the fan ire following the cancellation news. What? So what's going on here? So this is how the story reads. It's, it comes courtesy of an up and coming interview with VGC publication. In that publication, Anaba says, the game was a big challenge for Platinum Studios as it delved into an unfamiliar genre with such as a role-playing game of this magnitude. Anaba says, quote, both sides failed and ultimately the game didn't do all the things that we needed to do as a developer. He also says watching fans getting angry at Microsoft over the cancellation wasn't easy for us to watch because the reality is when any game in development can't get released, it's because both sides failed. Now, the article also goes to clarify, it says, it has been suggested by some outlets this year that Scalebound could be revived as a Nintendo Switch title. However, VGC understands that there are no plans for a Switch revival and, in fact, Microsoft is the holder of the Scalebound IP. Inabal continues to say, at the bare minimum, it's unique for us as a title and so much as we feel that we didn't do all the things that we needed to do as a developer. There were a lot of painful lessons, but it helped us grow as a studio. He cites not being able to go into details, you know what I'm saying, because of rules of engagement as a developer, but he specifically states that he doesn't want the publisher who gave them a chance to try to make the game uh, get treated too poorly. So that's why he's speaking out now. He also concedes that maybe Scalebound was announced too early by the studio themselves. And lastly, he also alludes that, hey, quite frankly, quote unquote, the reality is that we, Platinum Games, have had plenty of titles canceled in the past. That's just part of the parcel and what comes with making video games. So all very interesting, all very interesting. I'm gonna leave the link to this article below, but breaking news that, you know, Platinum Games is now officially doing an about face opposed to some of the other previous murmurs. And they're saying, hey, look guys, don't blame Microsoft. We got a lot to blame in this whole debacle as well. Very interesting because I think the biggest pull away from this is that maybe Microsoft is making some headway with a lot of the Japanese studios as a lot of gamers are saying they need to do. This is a big deal, but let me know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Leave something in the comment section below. And like I always say, you can come with me or come at me. It don't matter to your boy. In case you did like what you heard, you know where to find me. I'm on the corner of every boulevard. Check out the links below to follow me. Hey, yo. I do a show with your peoples, Dirt Griggity, Neethos, Snow Bunny, it's called Scram Punks, Wednesdays, either 9 or 9.30 Eastern Standard Time, check us out on Dirt Griggity's channel, or you can check the link below to keep up with all the Scram Punks, and last but not least, follow my brethren, the Broadband Bullies, man, we out here doing the damn thing, man, we back with Avengers, man, we got more to come. Yo, check out that Discord link. It be popping in there, man. Check out that gear. It's fly. And as always, as always, you have a wonderful gaming day.